So a lot of people consider the Hanyan as a son of virginity. So in today's video, we'll be separating a fact and depiction related to Hanyan. So generally, I will uncover the misconception and the truth that you need to know about the Hanyan. So if it's the first time you are watching our video, we are looking for your support by subscribing to this YouTube channel and turn on notification bell so that you will be informed whenever we drop something new on this YouTube channel. Also, if you are a new subscriber on this YouTube channel, don't forget that on this particular YouTube channel, we are creating a content on sexual health, medical care, health tips, and many more. So now without any further ado, let's get into details. Hello friends, so welcome to International Medical TV. As I mentioned at the beginning of this video, today I will be sharing a myth and the fact that you need to know about a hymen. So myth number one is the hymen indicate virginity. So contrary to the popular belief, the presence or absence of the hymen doesn't determine a person's virginity. So don't forget that the hymen is an elastic layer that covers a vaginal opening and it can vary in shape and in size. Also a hymen it can have an opening even without his sexual activity. So there are a lot of activities that can make a hymen have a breakage or tear like a vigorous exercise, tampon insertion and even a normal physical activity like a walking. Fact number one is the hymen adabas. The hymen come in a different shape, size, and sometimes hymen it is thicker, less straighty, thin, and naturally diverse. Modern the not able person hymen will look the same. So it is important to know that the able person hymen it is unique, and it may be different from stereotypical notion. My number two is always hymen's blade during having a sexual intercourse for the first time. This is another common misconception, which is always hymen's blade during a having a sexual intercourse for the first time. So in reality, the hymen it can saturate and it can have a small opening that can allow a painless penetration. Also, there are factors that can make a person to bleed during a having a sexual intercourse like a lack of properly and a lack of lubrication. So that is why a hymen it should not be determined as a sign of a virginity. Fact number two, the hymen breakage can occur even without having a sexual activity. So there are various non-sexual activities that can make a hymen to break or to tear even without a having a sexual intercourse like a sport, cycling, tampon insertion and many more. So that is why it is important to understand that the hymen alone it is not to be an indicator of a sexual activity. Mass number three, the hymen reconstruction it occurs to the virginity. So many people believe that the hymen reconstruction it occurs by the virginity, which is also known as hymenoplasty. And this is not true. You have to understand that the virginity is a complex concept which shall not be identified by the physical state of the hymen. Fact number three, the hymen don't have a single purpose. So contrary to the popular belief, the hymen don't have a specific purpose related to virginity. So based on a small research, the hymen is solely present to protect the vaginal opening during a child development. So we hope you enjoyed this video, so kindly give it a thumbs up and consider subscribing to this YouTube channel for more insightful and educational videos. So I hope to see you in my next video.